Okay, to do the valve cover, some people manage to get their hands through here, but I like to have a lot of room and not tweak the gasket or, or screw up or drop a bolt. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the cabin air filter and we're going to remove the front of the car. To remove the cabin air filter, we undo these little springs. There's three springs all together. And we pull this cover off. So what we're going to do is pull this cover off, pull these rubbers off. There. And this is the cabin air filter, Ooh, which we're going to replace as well. Uh, that's pretty dirty. This is what you're breathing in when you turn that AC on. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. This is the, the uh, positive battery cable here, the connector for when we're jump starting the car. Yeah. Basically you just want to pull it out of the plastic shield here and keep it mounted up top a little ways. You can just let it hang here, that's okay. Just to make you know where it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to get to these two at the top here. We have uh, four uh, screws in the back there. They're Torx, the Torx Tor screws, correct? T T30, yeah. Yes, T30 Torx screws. Uh, four of them along the back panel here that we need to take off in order to get this whole piece out. Now that all the screws are undone, we can pull this whole plastic piece down. As you can see, that's a pretty big uh, piece right there that we've just pulled out. So now we have a ton more room here to access the, the, uh, the whole valve cover gasket here on this uh, inline six engine. We can actually get our fingers all the way back here now. Next, we're gonna take these little clips out. Yeah, this is uh, two little clips here on top. Be careful because these have uh, little spreaders on and people break them. Oh yeah. And we have two on the other side as well. And it's a 10 mil. We're going to use a 10 mil. Oh yeah, got it. Sea foam. <laughs> Look, there is an engine underneath there. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to place the cover, um, the cover on, so we don't drop anything in. So what we're going to do is next we're going to take the coil packs off. We're going to pull, pull, yeah, pull these up like that. And what we need to do is keep these in order. But that mistake here, we don't mix them up. Oh yes, make sure to label these any way possible. A little piece of tape, whatever you'd like to do, or you can stack them in series. And be careful, they are hot when you pull them out. You want to keep them in the exact cylinder they came out of. As you can tell here. And you can see on this one, we have an oil leak. And you've got oil on the inside of the yep, oil plug. Yep, right up there up top. Thank yes, you. sir. And as you can tell, we did not actually pull the uh, valve cover off yet. That was just the uh, plastic piece, the dressing that goes on top of the uh, engine here. OK, next thing we're going to do is remove the earth straps. There's two earth straps. One, two. And in the middle. So we're going to do undo those. All right. Yeah, the three grounding straps here. So he's going to take those off right now. And those are an eight millimeter socket. <laughs> then what we're going to do is we're going to move the earth strap. One and two. Right, so as you were saying, as we, we already got the grounding straps, um, now we're going to actually be pulling the main bolts off here for the valve cover so we can access the valve cover gasket. He's going to start here in the middle and it's going to work his way outward. In a, uh, 
All right, so we're uh, taking everything off. Once we're about to pull it off, we'll uh, start this. All right, we've almost got uh, all the bolts off here. Um, my partner here, Raj, taking all the bolts off. One thing I want to show you also is we got the uh, PVC port here that we need to pull off. It's got a little plastic clip in here. You're going to press into the tube here and wiggle it off gently. Remember, this is plastic, so you're not to uh, get too crazy with this. All right, so we just took the whole assembly off here. And we're just going to kind of set it aside. And there's uh, the oxygen sensor cable actually kind of slides in on the bottom side of the uh, the valve. Cover. So just make sure to kind of move that out of the way as well. Now another thing you want to make sure of is on these uh, on those holes right there, you've got these little rubber plugs that kind of sit in there, and you can't you don't really notice that they're in there. Make sure to pull these out if you want to before you take the. Uh, before you take the valve cover off, otherwise you're going to lose these all over the engine bay. You kind of need these. These are kind of like a squish plug, so they work really nice to help uh, torque down the bolts. All right, now we've got all the uh, bolts off here. We can go ahead and lift the valve cover off gently. You do not want to pry this off, all right? Make sure you get any debris out of the way before you pull this off. Alright, so let's get a little little view here. Cylinder head of a BMW. Looking really nice and clean. Okay, these are the other ones we're gonna remove. Yeah. We're gonna take these nuts, eight new nuts off. And what we're gonna do is clean all the lug nuts, because this is where it's been leaking from right at the back. Hey Raj, can I ask you a question? Uh, sure, you get something real quick? What's up? What's up? Play thing. We've got these uh, these rubber seals here over the spark plug holes as well. So we'll be able to do those. It comes off in uh, two parts. So we've got uh, gaskets for those as well. And then basically all we're doing is we're changing the uh, the uh, sealing surface right here that meets along the valve cover gasket and engine seal. And what we're going to do is we're going to put RTV over here and all around here. Yeah. You want to use RTV on any of these uh, like cam type seals. And joints with and Any joint, yeah, that we have, you know, 90 degree turn. It just helps to uh, make sure everything seals properly because this is a job you don't want to do twice, just as anything else. And as you can see, we've got all the new gaskets here that uh, Raj here is pulling out. We've got the same new covers here, which bend and flex a lot better. Um, OEM, BMW brand. Um, one thing you always want to do here is part match. Before you start slamming parts on your car, just kind of line them up and make sure, hey, you know, this looks exactly the same size, same width, uh, same part number as well. So once we match everything up, we'll be able to reinstall it and get this car back together. Next thing we're going to do is put the caskets in place. This is a little trick I like. I'm going to smear a bit of grease around gasket holding points. Just a little, so it just adheres to where we're trying to stick it to. So it's kind of tacking it in place while we're getting the valve cover on. Yeah, so now when uh, Raj puts these little covers on, they're not going to move around at all. They're going to stick to the grease, and you're only putting a tiny amount on. We're not caking it on. Just, just enough to let it sit there and hold in place while we slide the valve cover back on. Because a lot of the times when you slide the valve cover back on with the gasket, things kind of move around a little bit, and you don't get the proper sealing surface. So this is going to help ensure that we get that proper sealing surface. The other thing what we're going to do... All right, so after we get the, uh, the seals on the cylinder head side of things, we're going to start applying the uh, gasket onto the valve cover here. After cleaning it off, we want to you know, kind of get rid of all the debris and old oil that's on there and all the junk.
thick gasket too. Yeah. Very thick. It's good. Now we're taking some of that RTV. We're gonna stick it in the specified spots here on the corners and in the uh, valleys there where the cam seals will be applied. And don't forget to get it on the backside as well. A little tougher, but you'll be able to get back there since we removed the cabin filter assembly. And then also we're gonna do the same thing on the uh, valve cover gasket side of things. We're gonna kind of seal both sides with a little bit of that uh, RTV gasket. Very light coating too. We're not, we're not caking it on again, because remember now comes the fun part. Helps to have a, a second hand here to kind of pull the wiring out of the way. That, uh, the, the sealant comes in handy here. Everything's going to sit nice and flush. Perfect. And now all you want to do is kind of go around the flashlight to make sure everything's uh, sitting correctly before you actually bolt it all up. Mm -hmm. Since we have so many bolts here. Feel it back. Yeah. Sure. And it's 10 newton meters is the torque setting. For this. Yeah. So one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this disconnected until we uh, don't plug anything back in yet, until we get all the bolts torqued up. Now it's just all about getting all those bolts back in. All right, so we uh, have the valve cover uh, bolted back up and torqued up. We have also uh, put the PVC uh, port back on here and clipped it into place. Um, now what we're doing here is we're putting the uh, oxygen sensor cables and uh, tapping them back up onto the valve cover. It's, it's held on by a couple of these little clips and the hose slides in and locks in. So basically all we're doing is we're locking those in on the side. Um, after that, we're going to put these uh, coil on plugs back in. All right, so we have our coil on plug here. And uh, one thing we'd like to do before we wanna take a little bit of that uh, dielectric grease and we're gonna put it inside here. You don't need to use too much, just get on the tip of a screwdriver and put some in there like so. Dielectric compound. So we're gonna put some in there, cut it, we're gonna. We're gonna take it in and we're just gonna use the back and spread it around on the sleeve. As we push down, it's gonna push the dielectric grease. And we're putting them in in the order they came out. Coil on plug uh, harness here. We're gonna get it centered back over the top. We're gonna plug all the connectors in and make sure to bolt up your ground straps. Clipping the, uh, clipping the connectors in now and pushing down that lock tab. Now we're uh, gonna hold down our grounding straps here. Now we're gonna put the covers back on. Now we're just bolting the uh, screws back on there. We're just the plastic cover. We're gonna do the same on the one on the right side as well. I'm gonna get the other 
Java? Yes, sir. Now we're doing putting the plastic little tab back on. Final step. All right, so we've got the valve cover here is all done up. Now all we gotta do is uh, replace the cabin air filter assembly up top here, and then we'll be done with this job. Sliding it back in place here, where we'll be able to get our torque screws back in. So cool, isn't it? So, oh, oh, it's so strong. But I like it. Go. Okay, so we got them all in now. Just tightening them in. There's a plastic housing here, so we don't need to tighten these two insanely tight. Okay, cabin air filter. Now we're going to install our new uh, cabin air filter here. You don't want to put that old one back in. You saw what it looked like. The tabs. Fit in here. Yeah, they lock in. Yeah. Put it in. Yeah. They're a bit tight and they drop in. See how that fits? They're going to push it from behind. That's it. From the cup. So that's the little yeah. plastic clips. Make sure to be gentle with those two there. Okay. Thin plastic. So now that we've got the clip back in, we can go ahead and Take the positive battery cable and slide it black back in here for the need. Now that we've got the battery cables connected back under there, we can slide our clip in underneath. And we can install our rubbers back in as well. Okay, now we got all the rubbers on, all the plastics on. Okay, what we're going to do is fire up. Oh. So Alright, so we got the car running here with the new valve cover gas installed. All we're doing here is looking around all the seals that we just made it, making sure we're not, uh, we don't have any oil leaks present. We're going to check on the ground and let it run for a couple minutes. This has been a video on how to change your valve cover gasket. This is Anthony and Raj here at DIY Auto Tech. We'll see you next time.